was a real shooter. The, the shooters be the crash out homies who we play like we love. And when they crash out, he don't ball like the rest of So that was part of the reason why I tell on you, homie. Killing for you, homie. You, how, did y'all hear him testify say when they shot up that man Bobby shot? He didn't ask no question. He just said, come on. That's how they do the shooters. And then when the shooters crash out, uh, my nigga was a real, but you ain't making sure he got no real ass lawyer. Thug, the only one with a real lawyer, homie. Rest struggling and striving for some shit, man. Give me them 15 year probation. Most niggas ain't gonna make 15 year probation, but you gonna take it when you got a bullshit lawyer. So even Woody had a bullshit lawyer, homie. That's why he got immunity. This is Steven from Industry Beef Channel. It's been a minute Charleston and Woody been hanging around each other on the internet, probably because they share a lot in common after YSL Woody started snitching on Young Thug during the YSL Rico case. Charleston White was contacted by a mutual friend to start doing podcast interviews with YSL Woody after he saw the man is now an official rat in the industry. He jumped on a recent interview with a YouTuber by name FAMG, he reveals that YSL Woody used to be a real killer for the gang members in the industry. But the problem started when he got arrested and charged for murder, and none of these ninjas he killed for could give him a good lawyer to come defend him in court, so the case got worse, and YSL Woody had no other option than to start snitching since the goons he killed for turned their back on him. So when Charleston White saw what was happening, he picked interest and started kicking it with Woody because they have a lot in common. He also said that YSL Woody became a changed man and started taking some good counseling from him on how he can get off the street and become a law-abiding citizen again. The interesting part is that YSL Woody actually exposed some deep secrets to Charleston White. He told him all he'd been through when he was a street ninja. But let me say this, had it been that Young Thug or YSL goons took good care of Woody, he wouldn't have snitched. And that also goes to the rest of the street ninjas out there, make sure you take care of the ninjas doing all that dirty work for you. Cause if you dare piss them off, you will definitely go down yourself. And to all my brothers like YSL Woody, get off the street cause the consequences of crime is prison and death. So why do you want to risk all that and end up living a miserable life? Let me get y'all the clip in a minute and I will also tag the full video link from FMG channel in my description so you can go check him out and show him some love. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out this clip. A good friend of mine by the name of Angel. So Angel started managing Woody. So she had already been trying to get us together. And uh, I said, man, I don't want to do nothing with that nigga because he, he a real killer. Despite what y'all saying, nigga, real mother killer. And he dangerous. And he a violent mother killer. You said you looked like you was having a good time. I was. Uh, uh, I was, but he, 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 he's no... He ain't killing, homie. He's walking in redemption. So you, you heard him say, I go to church every Sunday. Uh, you see him in the community getting money back, you know, helping the youth. So I told her I ain't want to do nothing with no that's upholding the street culture. Uh, he broke the street culture. He's testifying. Uh, he's, he, he showed me that he's smarter than what everybody think he is because one of the first rules I learned about the streets is there's no honor amongst thieves. So I'm not honorable amongst a bunch of thieves. I'm going to tell her to get out of jail, nigga, to get back to my mama because there's no honor. It's no honor. So how how am I gonna get in this game and think that we all gonna be loyal when the mafia ain't loyal to each other? We don't know now group from BMF to Rafa Edmonds. We don't know no group have remained complete loyal to each other, not even YSL. So why would I be a fool to hurt my mom and my kids to uphold these street codes? And come on, my nigga. When they now nigga go come see me. My brother just come home from doing 31 years in prison. I got out in 1998 out of the boys home. So from 98 till two years ago, as much as I've been going to go see my brother, I've never seen the homies in the visitation room. I ain't never seen the homies uh, put money on the books like mama, the girl and grandmama do. So why would I be law to something that ain't law to us? So I think I'm nigga being law, nigga be law to what's law to you. And it ain't the homies. So would your advice be like to why tell, I sell Woody to tell him your thug? Uh, well, uh, he already told. My my advice to end like Woody. Woody was a real shooter. The, the shooters be the crash out homies who we play like we love. And when they crash out, he don't ball like the rest of them. So that was part of the reason why I tell on you, homie. Killing for you, homie. You niggas caught. Did y'all hear him testify say when they shot up that man Bobby shot? He didn't ask no question. He just said, come on. That's how they do the shooters. And then when the shooters crash out, 
uh, my nigga was a real, but you ain't making sure he got no real ass lawyer. Thug, the only one with a real lawyer, homie. The rest of them niggas struggling and striving for some shit, man. Give me them 15 year probation. Most niggas ain't gonna make 15 year probation, but you gonna take it when you got a bullshit lawyer. So even Woody had a bullshit lawyer, homie. That's why he got immunity.